The next tool in our suit is the intruder. And these are the tabs which are deemed to be very important, positions, payloads, and options. The intruder is another frequently used tab when it comes to burp suit. Most of the attacks against web applications are essentially about sending a lot of data and making sense of the responses. And this is where burp intruder is very efficient because it's meant for exploitation and automating attacks. Usually um, something that will be of prime interest. Um, sort of interesting looking requests that can be automated uh, would be a login form. Um, so in short, um, Intruder can be used to do username enumerations, test for insecure direct object references issues, and as I say, it's well suited for parameters fuzzing. And just as an example to see, to show you how it works. So we head back to the proxy, and we identify this request that might be of interest, uh, Control I, and then we head over to the intruder under the position tab. You can actually see that um, it's already um, highlighted um, the things that it thinks might be of interest, i.e., the product ID and the session cookie. Um, the default behavior is to test everything that has an equal next to it, and that's why those one were prime candidates. Um, if you're not happy with that, with those choices, you just click on the clear here, and then you can see that goes away. And um, if you can think of any other parameters that you want to first, you just highlight them and, uh, and click uh, the add button and uh, whatever attack that follows from that. Once you've identified the parameters that you want to first, you've got four attacking options to choose from. Uh, you've got the sniper, and the battery ram, the pitchfork, and the cluster bomb. Um, the sniper and battery ram are single sets of payloads, whereas the pitchfork and the cluster bomb are multiple sets of payloads. Um, the, the sniper is perhaps uh, the one which uses less resources because obviously, um, as I said, it's a single set of payloads and it places each payload in each position in turn. So it's quite useful for individual parameters fuzzing, whereas the cluster bomb, um, it's a multiple payload set. So it tests all the permutation of the payload combination. So depending on your payload, this attack might grow to absolutely gigantic proportions. So um, you will have to judge the complexity of your own operation and choose the best option possible. Um, but as I say, between a sniper and a cluster bomb, uh, the number of requests can increase quite exponentially. You've identified the parameters you want to follow, you've chosen your attack type. Now you need to tell Burb Suits which test case to perform during the fuzzing run. You have 18 payload types available for testing, ranging from a simple list, which is just a list of strings, to, say, for example, uh, illegal unicodes, um, which essentially might be able to help you bypass the filters or a brute forcer which is just a set of permutation generated for specified characters. So essentially, you might have to choose carefully and what's appropriate for your target. Under the option tab, uh, we can use the grep and match to quickly identify requests and responses that we get in the intruder results to filter these results based on certain conditions. Matches tend to be shown in a new column. Obviously, we haven't got an attack going. Um, which we can sort to quickly make sense of the app. Um, the, the default values um, provided to us here are, in my view, good to use. Um, sometimes you might have to add um, new items in it, but this, this should be good enough. And I think grep match is quite a gift, really, because uh, the intruder tool can generate a lot of data.